It's your boy, Spider Man, aka D Man. You're a man. I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one. The one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say, what's up, Daria? What's up, Daria? See, now, take two, you didn't even try to snap with me because on take one, you actually got it right, but now you don't, not, not even gonna try it. So, are you shell shocked? No. Are you okay? Don't really care. Wow. I care. Your man. See? On the beat. My beat. We're looking at menace in the mirror. But before we get started with whatever the hell that was, if you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon so that you can get alerted to everything that we do on this channel because we got content for days, for days, for days, for days. Like any of the content that you do enjoy and make sure to comment down below because we do like to hear from you, Archive, you faithful. So now let's get into it. And before my sister interrupts me like she did last time, let me go ahead and introduce our guest because my sister loves to be, to, to get a case of the interrupties. We don't do that, but okay, interrupties. We're joined today by our special guest, Trooper, our street dog, dog. Say what's up, Trooper. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, see, 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 we're all good. And we all sound nice and, and kind and everything. And, and no robots, no androids, no droids up in the in this in this in this in this, in this call. In this camp. I know. I was I was catching myself. Okay. I, 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 I wasn't I, sure I, if you I, were. I don't know what's going on with my mouth today. Okay. Okay. WWE Elimination Chamber. The final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania, which is very weird because I remember our road to WrestleMania, including like Fastlane and Elimination Chamber and a bunch of other pay-per-views. But this time around, we got, we went from Royal Rumble to Saudi. And I don't know why people are calling me. People are mean today. I don't get it. We went from, we went from Royal Rumble to Saudi to Elimination Chamber. And here we are. It, this feels, this feels weird. Why? I don't know why. It feels like the build to this WrestleMania just feels very by the numbers. Like, oh, like there, there, it, there's yeah. nothing amazing yeah. that's like really capturing me, and everything yeah. is kind of like very predictable. I don't know what it is. Like, t tell me, Trooper, how do you feel about that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this match card. Um, it seems pretty predictable. Yeah. Um. I mean, then again, I'm like anything can really happen, and there are pro probably a couple surprises in store. But with uh, WWE and their elimination chambers, it's kind of been really easy to predict, like as of the recent years, of uh, who's going to win and who's not. And it's interesting to me that I'm watching this card, and I was keeping tabs out with it, but I really didn't. I really was surprised that they don't have you know, a male championship, uh, you know, elimination chamber like they always used to have. Interesting. Yeah, no. There is, there is not one, mainly because we already know who's going to go up in WrestleMania, at WrestleMania for the Universal and the WWE Championship. Still shitty. I mean, yeah, but still. All right. I mean, there, there is no but still. I, I don't like it at all whatsoever. Frick. What? Just roll with it. We're going to have to roll with it. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. Okay. This, 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 so this, let's this, get to our first just, match. Just, just, just like the build-up for WrestleMania, just like the build-up for WrestleMania, just everything just feels just weird today. Yeah. Just off-kilter. I don't know what it is, but let's let's get into it. If this is your first time watching the Smash Bros. Review Prediction special with us, first of all, what have you been doing with your lives? Probably having a good life, you know, because on a Friday night, you going out with friends and and stuff, unlike us, who are sitting at home talking about wrestling. Yay. I don't say anything wrong with that. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. Uh, I don't either. Damn. I'm happy with my life. But if this is your first time, here's what we do. We do a quick rundown of the storylines. If there are any story beats to go over, uh, we tell you what we think about the match as it, you know, sets up. And then we give our outlook on who's going to win and then we move on until the end and then we tell you how we feel about the uh, overall match card and then we say sayonara and it, that's how it that's how it goes are y'all ready yeah trooper you ready yep let's get into it we're gonna start with one of if not probably the best match that we're gonna get on this card already it's gonna be andrade who's coming back from uh suspension 
as the United States Championship. Had a nice little 30 day pop. Uh, but now he's back for good for so far. And he's going up against Umberto Carrillo. They had a nice little uh, story going yeah. with them. Uh, with them uh, uh, Rey Mysterio and Angel Garza. Yeah. Garza, who had to come in and take uh, Andrade's place because of that suspension, who, who fit in pretty nicely. So it's not like they, they lost anything because of that, because everything made sense, which is very rare to get whenever you get something like, you know, a suspension happening that's, that causes a personnel change. <laughs> But here we just have a WWE United States Championship match between Andrade and Humberto Carrillo. I'm going to start with Trooper. Tell me what you think about this. What you got for this? <clears throat> Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo. Um, this one, yeah, like you said, it could be a match of the night. I think uh, I really like these two's uh, like style that they have one is kind of a i mean they're very similar to each other one's a heel one's a face so they're going to be different you know they're going to be doing exact opposite uh moves to each other but this one as per prediction i'm probably going to say andrade he comes back from his 30 day uh suspension with a dub i would say all right, all right. So he gets a dub. What do you say? I I agree. I'm Andrade only because uh like this this little feud that's been going on is like a pretty good feud, even involving um Angel Garcia and Rey Mysterio. Garcia. Now for WrestleMania, I think it might split. All right, so WrestleMania, you think that they might have uh, yeah. have a little bit of a program? Going yeah, but for... it's gonna Andre, Andrade is gonna retain. I think. Oh, so you got Andrade for this. Troops got Andrade. Any other promotion, I'd say Umberto would get it. Yeah. yeah. Like, because, you know, everything builds toward WrestleMania. Yeah. Everything builds toward WrestleMania. And I don't know what the story would be with Andrade uh, losing the title and Umberto taking it and taking it into WrestleMania. I right. don't know. I don't know what they could do because we got about a month to go. That's we it. got about a month to go before we get to WrestleMania. And I don't know what's going to happen with four Monday Night Raws, potentially. Um <laughs> leading into mania uh to build up anything extra with this so because of that simply because of that because damn i didn't realize elimination chamber was this late usually it's not this late yeah. uh but but because of that uh andrade just 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 plain and simple it's gonna be a really good match it's gonna be a really damn good match in fact but um yeah no no, no major surprises now troops in here casting aspersions on me saying that this might also be a pretty by the numbers good match, but like you know, you know who's gonna come out with the win. Our next match, Alistair Black versus AJ Styles. How you gonna do me like that, Drew? Hell. Hey man, you know, I just like, I just oh. have that vibe. Like, oh, you don't know who's gonna come out on top of this. Like, why? Why do you have to say that, man? <laughs> now, now for this, this is only like a week's worth of build. Uh, really, just is. a yes. week's worth of build. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So Alistair Black uh, faces AJ Styles, but AJ Styles makes here's here's one of the biggest problems that 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 WWE has when it comes to their faces because they want to build up the heel so much they have to make their face do dumb baby face stupid shit. Oh yeah. my god! Oh the my dumb god. thing that they have for this is apparently Alistair Black signed a contract to face off with AJ Styles, but he didn't read the fine print. Yeah. Yeah. So he must fight the rest of the OC first, which is stupid, which is incredibly dumb. There are ways to go about this. There are indeed ways to go about this. One of the best ways to go about this, in my opinion, if you're going to pull some stupid shit like this, have an authority figure make this decision, not the heel. That's true. But since they don't have any authority figures and since they've been doing authority figures wrong, yeah. which I'm glad that they don't have any authority figures, yeah. you get this stupid shit. I know I'm saying this is a lot of stupid shit, but this is a no DQ match for between Alistair Black and AJ Styles coming off of what happened on this past Monday Night Raw. So, Troop, what do you got? Uh, what do you have for this? Uh, <laughs> well, since um, the faces are apparently uh, dumbasses now, um, <laughs> they don't read the fine prints anymore. Uh, I don't know why. I want to say uh, AJ Styles wins this. Um. I just, I mean, this is literally, like you said, this is a, a week-long feud. It, like, it doesn't make sense at all if AJ Styles lost this. It doesn't make 
any it doesn't make any sense in general for, for these two to be feuding in one week and have this match but with this dude i want to say aj styles but i mean they could have alistair black beat them 3v1 um but i'm gonna go with the the right choice which seems which would be for aj styles to win okay well, now before we continue hey KD, our superhero jesus christmas you just don't <laughs> step all over I my got mind excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to call him in and you just I, gonna hop up and was like hey KD, i had a bit, I, I had a sorry, thing okay? i had a thing going i know you did i, I had a well, bit. i'm sorry i got excited troop is in here <laughs> and kd i got excited <laughs> i'm super stoked like relax <laughs> okay. How's it going, King Dead? Doing okay. How about yourselves? I, I'm apparently taking crazy pills. <laughs> so anyway, as as, as we, we barely just got started because we've had some technical difficulties here and there and a whole bunch of stuff and this match card and a bunch. You know what? Let's just let's forget the pump because I had a bit I was going to do and you stepped over it. You ruined it. So Katie... Alistair Black, AJ Styles, JDQ <laughs> match, Elimination Chamber, who you got? Oh, geez. Um, this is a tough one, actually. I mean, Alistair has lost on the main roster. Uh, someone's kicked out of the Black Mass. I mean, plus it's AJ. I mean, they're going to have a banger of a match, I'm hoping, no matter what. I think... Uh, I think uh, AJ wins this. Okay, that's two for AJ. Daria. It's going to be three, because uh, you got the OC and AJ, and it's an ODQ. It's going to be bullshit. I, I, I agree. I hope it's a good match because it's Alistair Black and AJ and they can put on a damn good match. I hope we get that before we get to the bullshit, but it's okay. close. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Y'all forgetting somebody. Oh. You? You. Dead man walking. Yeah, the Undertaker. Like, yeah. there's always that oh. possibility. So he oh. shows up at Saudi okay. I'm just, I'm for just a saying. for a nothing gauntlet match <laughs> yeah, to basically that's true. win this, and they yeah. they're most likely going to be clashing at WrestleMania. On the one hand, Undertaker showing up for another nothing match doesn't make sense to me, but it's whatever. Uh, he showed up at Showdown. So okay. Exactly. That, that's the. On the other hand, he did show up at Showdown. So part of me wants to say Alistair Black. Because that's that's that wild card right there. Who knows what might happen? Okay. Uh, on the other hand, what does Alistair Black gain by beating AJ Styles? At least AJ Styles gets momentum heading into WrestleMania. Alistair Black doesn't have any stories going. He doesn't mm -hmm. have a feud going. It's mm -hmm. this is literally the feud. So if he loses here, nothing happens. If that's, he wins yeah. here, nothing happens. He gains nothing, and, and because he yeah. gains nothing, there's no reason for him not to win. AJ Styles. You lose nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, you sir. lose nothing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Up next, we have uh, a surprise. A surprise for us, because if you didn't watch this past Monday Night Raw, the Street Profits finally got to do a thing. Yeah, mind blown. Yeah, they be prepared. Finally got to Your do mind a thing. is about to be. They have the titles now. Okay. It, it's not like the match was bad. It's not like I don't want them to have the titles. It's just, it literally was just a, hey, we have to go up against Buddy Murphy and Seth Rollins. I'm going to keep his name. It's Buddy Murphy. I'm not going to call him Murphy. Okay. Oh, it's still dumb Murphy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have to go up against Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy, and if we lose, we never get to challenge for the tag team titles again. That's foreshadowing. Yeah. The match was great. They win the titles, and now they get a rematch clause, even though I thought that they weren't going to have any rematch clauses, but okay, whatever. It's a thing. Street Profits versus Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. I'm going to start off again with Trooper. Who do you uh, have for this tag team uh, title match? Um, yeah, like I said, I, I tuned in uh, a couple of days ago just to watch this match. Uh, the Street Profits won, thankfully. they uh, you know That's very cool that they finally won a tag team title on the main roster. I think that was really cool. Um, this Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy thing is really weird with the <laughs> whole stable. It like uh, it like happened out of nowhere that they just won the tag team titles. And it just it it didn't really make sense and it didn't fit compared to other uh certain 
like promotions doing it like that. But I this mean, like, one, have AOP literally right there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like I think, like you said, the foreshadowing when the Street Profits won it, um, and since they're you know issuing their title recalls, which I which I agree with you. I think they actually did away with those, but again, it's WWE forgetting their own rules. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Seth Rollins and Murphy win this. It's it's just. I don't know how I don't know how two people literally beat four people. I, I, I don't I don't I don't see how they how they walk away with this with a win. Oh oh ooh. okay I'm a, I'm a, I'll say that's for my spot. Katie, who you got? Oh jeez. Um shoot. I'm not even sure. I mean, cause Street Profits just won and like yeah. god dang they are just made for those titles, it feels like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. And it's like, I feel like they're going to not lose the titles, but may not necessarily win either. Ooh. I'm thinking of some kind of DQ or no contest nonsense happens. All right. All right. All right. That's, a, that's, not, that's not a bad choice, uh, Dario. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Street Profits retain. I do believe AOP is going to get involved, but we also have Kevin Owens. Which is how they won the titles in the first place. So uh, I do agree, like it's going to be like some DQ or something. I don't see them. I mean, Street Profits, they, I mean, come on. They should keep the titles. Okay. And I don't see a reason for Seth Rollins or Buddy Murphy to just strip it away like that quick. Yeah. Yeah. Even with AOP. And the only reason I say that is because now Kevin Owens is a factor. And I think something is going to go down there. To where it leads up to WrestleMania. Okay, okay. Uh, so I'm glad you brought up Kevin Owens. Yes. Uh, there's also the Viking Raiders as a potential foil for this as well. Yes. Um, one of the big things about this is Seth Rollins is definitely going to be facing Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Okay. I don't think he could do that while holding while being one half of the tag team champions. Yeah. That's that's one thing. Uh, two, um, I think that potentially an AOP, uh, Street Profits with Buddy Murphy as the mouthpiece of the AOP, because he's damn good on the mic. He oh, showed that course. during his Cruiserweight Championship run, uh, on 205 Live. If you haven't watched that, please go back and watch that, that, that era of 205 Live. Um, I think that that works perfectly for, uh, for WrestleMania's Profits versus AOP, uh, going down. I think that'd be great. Uh, and because of that, I see the Street Profits retaining. Now, how they retain, I don't know. Yeah, that's maybe the only maybe thing. they win. Maybe they end up losing because of disqualification, but they yeah. hold on to the titles. But I say that Street Profits come out of Elimination Chamber with the titles. Yeah, I I, I can't see what they do with Seth Rollins being one half of the champion uh, and having to go up against Kevin Owens because then you're. At that point, you're basically putting your raw tag team division on the shelf in favor of this Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins already built storyline. That's true. And that yeah. you you lose a potential chance for a big WrestleMania moment uh, at WrestleMania. Okay. So, I, that's see, I only thing. yeah, I only said the Seth Rollins and Murphy only because it's WWE and they don't make any sense whatsoever. Yes, so this like, is also know. true. For yeah. uh, you know contention reasons. Now I I I'm, I will go on record. I want the Street Profits to win. I they should definitely be the <laughs> tag team title title holders. They definitely should be. But for some freaking reason, I have like in my mind that like they'll hold they'll gain these titles only to lose them like two weeks later. Like I'm saying, like Seth Rollins and Murphy to like win again, but then drop the yeah. titles again. Oh God! Oh, I want the Street Profits to win this match. I do, but I just like I think I'll go with Katie. You don't trust like, them. You yeah, don't I trust think I'll them. go with Katie's <laughs> pick here. Actually, I, I think this ends in like a like a disqualification or a you know a tie or some shit. A, a yeah. big brawl or something. Yeah, like, I, I trusted before WWE. I can't trust again. No, I can't. Yeah, not after what they did to the Fiend. Oh God! Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. God. Now, uh, up next, we have a tag team elimination chamber match. They've done this twice before because I think the women 
had a, t- a women's tag team elimination they chamber did. match last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a few years ago, they had a men's tag team elimination chamber match, which was an absolute shit show. It was mm-hmm. the worst. Mm-hmm. Just, it, it, it was the good kind of the worst, though. It was so bad, it was good. Okay. It, was, it was one of those kind of situations. But now, uh, but since then, they've changed the shape of the of the cage, of the chamber. Uh, chances are they might have a better shot at it this time. But this is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Uh, the Miz and Morrison are the champions. Yeah. And they have to go up against the New Day. Uh, Big E and Kofi Kingston, because Xavier Woods is still out. Uh, the Usos, uh, Heavy Machinery, which is very damn good. Ooh. Lucha House Party, who has been nowhere. Nowhere. This, still this, is, this is how slow the damn tag team division is. The Lucha House Party has been nowhere on television. You know you know who else I, I could have had in this spot? Who? Oh. The freaking Colognes. And, and they would have lost nothing. Yeah. Okay. You could have just thrown a team together and it would just been like, okay. Jesus Christ. And also, finally, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Don't sound enthusiastic about that, D. Because Bobby Roode deserves more than this. Z- Ziggler, deser- Ziggler deserves about as much as this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I, go, I, yeah. I agree completely. I agree. <laughs> I'm, I'm you're sorry. Right. You're right. You're but, right. You're right. But here we go. Uh, Miz and Morrison win the titles uh, off of New Day at Super Showdown, which actually was a pretty damn good match. One of the best matches of, of the afternoon because, hey, who doesn't want to see a pay-per-view in the middle of the damn day? <laughs> but that was a very damn good match. And, uh, you know, since there is no rematch clause, again, for some reason, it's like, hey, no rematch clause, but... There's an Elimination Chamber match, which, you know, we have to have at least two Elimination Chamber matches at Elimination Chamber. Otherwise, why call it Elimination Chamber? Yeah, Speaking true. of which, I want to I want to go back to our old pay-per-view names where it's like it's named something that doesn't have to be a gimmick. Oh, my like, God. Like, as, as bad as Great Balls of Fire was, I'm actually pretty glad that there wasn't an Inferno match just because there was fire in the title. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's anyway. kind of like... Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, please. It's kind of like them uh, having a pay-per-view called Extreme Rules when only literally one match is an Extreme Rules match. It's like, why? Oh, like, remember what? when they had they had a t- they had a pay-per-view called Fatal 4-Way? And there was no oh, Fatal 4-Way. Right, it was, like, yeah. was like two or three, but like, why would you call it Fatal 4-Way? Or you remember why? Night of Champions and then... Literally, I think like one of the matches didn't actually have a freaking championship title. Oh God, yes, I remember that. Uh. <laughs> WWE, what are you doing with our lives? Okay, anyway, so, so I, I, I digress. <laughs> Trooper, who do you have for this tag team elimination uh, chamber match? Oh, like you said, that was a really good match uh, with the John Morrison and uh, the rest. They, like, yeah, this is. <laughs> um. I mean, this is just going to be a clustered fuck of a match. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like you said, the Lucha House Party literally is just out of nowhere. They have been off and on TV for God knows how long. It's not even Kalisto. It's Kalisto went Grim. through five yeah. different transformations. Yeah, yeah um, not even Kalisto. They have, uh, what's his name? Lince and, Dorado and Grand Metallic. Yeah, Lince Dorado and uh, Grand Metallic, who deserves way better than this. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. Um, like, Grand Metallic, yeah. especially, like, how are they squandering him? He should have been, Dude, like, you know, so the good. next uh, the next Mexican star, like, in yeah, Mex- in WWE. Like, he is amazing, and they just do nothing with him. Yeah, they don't really push uh, masks. Like, uh, if you saw him in the Cruiserweight Classic versus where you saw him, you'd be angry. Oh, he's good. He's great. But anyway, so get back to the prediction. Um, (laughs) I kind of would like to see uh, the Miz and John Morrison kind of keep it to uh, WrestleMania to kind of build up a decent feud with somebody. Uh, Plus, John Morrison just came back. I would like for them to keep it. I think it would be uh, good for them to have a match at WrestleMania with another group. But th- see, this one's hard though. Like yeah. it, to me, yeah. to me, it's anywhere from uh, Miz, John Morrison, New Day, and the Usos. But mm. God, dude. Okay, this is actually pretty hard to predict. <laughs> yeah, I know, 
right? Yeah. This, this is, is yeah. this is actually the hardest one to predict on the next card. It's not even close. Um, yeah. I want all three. To, like I wouldn't. I would not be mad if any of those top three uh, won. But I'm gonna say Miz and John Morrison uh, reclaim. Okay. Okay. Uh, KD. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's Miz and Morrison's titles to hold on to this time around. So I'm gonna say they win. <laughs> All right. All right. And there's no uh, reason Miz to change it up right before WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. also true. Yeah. Uh, also true. I'm going to say Miz and Morrison. I agree. I think it's a good build up to who the hell ever. <coughs> okay. So. Undisputed era. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> I would be fine with that, but I want them to stay on NXT. Oh, no, they, yes. God, they'd be yes. Stay on NXT forever. Don't like, go stay, to the main stay roster. Stay away from please. the main roster for yes. just a little bit longer. Yes. If you get caught up uh, the main roster, have an injury, then get demoted. <laughs> literally, what happened with uh, with Gargano and Chop? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Literally. All right. So uh, for this, we have a couple of there's a couple of little tweaks here. Mm. Um, Heavy Machinery has this this weird storyline with Otis and Dolph Ziggler. So they're out for getting the titles. Yep. That's not happening. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the Lucha House Party, as I said, just got thrown into this with with no uh, warning. So yeah. they're yeah, out. Just there. Yeah. Um, there is the possibility that, because I can't remember what the rules are for a tag team elimination chamber yeah. match. I don't remember if it's one person gets pinned and that, that means so the stupid. whole team is out. Or yes, just, you know. I believe it's okay. one and then both team members. Oh, my done. God. It's a dumb rule. At least it'll be uh, quick. At least this clusterfuck of a match will be quick. That's true. Still, uh, even, okay. even though AEW just did a tag team battle royale where they didn't have that rule, which was the smartest thing to do, at least this will be quick. I I, so, I I don't know. I'm going over. I hate this. I think it like throws off the flow of a match. Literally, it just yeah, where it it's like awkward. one and done. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah. makes it look awkward. But yeah, yeah, go ahead. But um, fuck it. I I see. There's going to be a triple threat tag team match at WrestleMania yeah. between the Miz uh, and Morrison, New Day, and the Usos. Because why the fuck not? That yeah. is that is just pure money right there. It is. You like you don't even need to uh to to do anything for the build-up for that. Yeah, because yeah. Usos and New Day already set. Miz and Morrison taking the titles away. That's great. Yeah. Miz and Morrison doing their whole online needling of the Usos. That's built in. Just, just fuck it. Uh, uh, Miz and Morrison retain. I expect a triple threat match at WrestleMania. Moving yeah. on to something that is weird. Weird and nobody gives two shits. Honestly, I... You take that back because this actually got interesting. So you know how much I crapped all okay. over how Alice yeah. the Black and AJ Styles pulled that whole thing on Monday where the face was too dumb to read the fine print? Yeah, okay. Oh, this God, that was, was so actually, idiotic. It was so dumb, but the way that they built up the uh, Braun Strowman, uh, the three-on-one handicap match, was actually pretty smart because this is this is exactly what Sami Zayn is there for, to make somebody make a dumb move and outsmart them. Braun Strowman going like, I'll take you all on. And he's going like, y'all heard that shit, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> y'all all heard it, right? Yeah, so I love me, Sammy. So let me make a tweak right here. Come on. You said you would face us. He signed. I signed. Cesaro signed. Are you too chicken to sign? Yeah. That was actually well done. I, that's the one thing I have to applaud WWE for because that was actually pretty brilliant. The way that they handled that and set that up even though I think this match is going to be shitty. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Oh, Braun is going to beat all of them and just pin them together. Yeah. And, and yeah. I'm going to cry. I am going to cry. Yeah. But Braun I mean, Strowman they're going to have some kind of IC match. title ladder match at WrestleMania. That's the only way oh, I think this is Wait, wait. Well, please redeem it that way. Please. 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 I'm hoping it's redeemed. But IC title championship match, three-on-one handicap match, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Cesaro. Here's a little tweak for our picks. If you choose the three, you have to pick who's pinning. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Trooper, who you got? Braun Strowman. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> see? I mean, there it, you it's go. literally like it. It's it, I, I see it happening. <laughs> it's like they're going to go into the match. They're going to be like, oh, 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 three, one, one. He's an idiot. Oh no! And they like, you know, they there's gonna be a spot where they eventually get the big man down and they start beating him down for like ten minutes, you know, 
And they'd be like, oh, there's no way he's getting up. And then they turn their back and he gets up and he just fucking destroys all three of them. And, he them and they, literally, I, I think I'm going with KD on this. He literally picks all three of them up and just pins all three of them. Oh, God damn it. I don't why, want it to why, happen. Why did you have to read WWE script before you came on to the story? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm the story right. right here. I'm sorry. I just know what's going to happen. All right, KD, who you got? It's Braun. Say. Come on, come on, y'all. Please, please say it's not Braun. Nope. Daria, who do you got? Braun. God damn it. <laughs> you might as well say Braun and move on. I want to believe. <laughs> it's totally yeah. Braun. It's come Braun. On now. Until Come WrestleMania, on it's Braun. It's gonna be Braun. Until WrestleMania, it's Braun. Oh my god, it's gonna be Braun. It doesn't work any other way. And, and he won't be able to pull this like, oh hey, I, I won the tag team yeah. titles all by myself with a 10-year-old kid named Nicholas like he did with the tag titles and then have to relinquish it there later. You go. So it's if Braun. he wins this, he's legit still the IC champion. And as much as I want him to hold a title, I didn't want him to hold a title like this. Well, it's life. Damn it. This is a monkey's paw situation. It is. Shit. It's Braun. All right. Let's <laughs> move on. Moving on to... Well, what? wait. Before we move on to the final oh. match, oh, or the okay. final pick, like I was watching SmackDown earlier, and they've basically implied it's going to be Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak at Elimination Chamber. Ooh. Yes! Oh, God. Why wouldn't they wait until WrestleMania for that? I like I. This. I I don't care. I am like hyped for this match to happen, especially if they give it a little bit of time. So I'm fine if it's even on the pre-show for a 15 minute match. <laughs> oh God! Okay, yeah. Oh this, yeah. This be great. Uh, but uh, it's not on our card for right now because again, Aww. SmackDown is happening I right know, now. I yeah. Know. But but if by the end of the night they add it to the card, we'll add it to our prediction picks and everything, and then we'll add and we'll make it part of our picks. Okay. All right. All right. But but since since you did bring it up, who do you got? KD. Oh, geez. I want Gulak to win because he's been studying all of Daniel's 1000 and whatever moves. With so, I mean, like, you know, he's been he's well researched. Yeah, he's converted the PowerPoint presentation into research about Daniel Bryan. So, I mean, he's got, like, you know, the information. He knows, like, you know, how to counter everything. So, I say, like, you know, Drew somehow surprises Daniel and wins. <laughs> Ooh, that would, I mean, and it's not like Daniel hasn't been willing to take a loss like i mean I, he i mean he's fine if he does i mean mustafa ali pinned him clean yeah i mean like while he had he, the title daniel loses nothing Where is yeah he, by the way he's awesome don't don't ask that question because is then i'm also gonna cry again still? yes Probably. he is he, 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 <laughs> he's actually no he's in black gate because the last time he came out he looked like a uh, nightwing oh right 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 yeah that's like black gate. ally yeah 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 had to had to throw a little <laughs> nerdiness in there mm-hmm all right, so Trooper, who do you got uh, for Drew Gulag uh, versus Daniel yeah, Bryan? Yeah, I'm kind of on the same boat with KD. I think this would really help Drew get Gulag uh, with like his whole uh, studying his moves and to really put on the map, uh, you know, Drew <sighs> Gulag's uh, credibility, I think, is to uh, be able to pin Daniel Bryan and be like, oh, shoot, he pinned him. He might be a real deal now. And they yeah. kind of like maybe extend this feud into WrestleMania and make it even please better. Please do. Please do. Um, so if you I do, think- please do. I think this is a good way to do it. I would say Drew Gulak wins this match to uh, complete, uh, not complete, but uh, to further that feud. Because if Daniel Bryan wins this match, it kind of just kills it. Because he's just like, oh, for yeah. weeks he's been like, I know you, I know you, I know you, I'm studying you, I'm studying you. And then he just gets beaten. There's not, what do you have him do after that? I mean, like, uh, I'm going to let you pick your, take your pick, but I'm going to try to answer that question. Uh, Gulak. Thank you. You're welcome. I was trying to gather my thoughts. I was trying to buy my time. You said you had an answer. I said I will come up with an well, answer. People for that. want to hear the answer. Okay, fine. Since since you want to do me like that, uh, Gulak losing, depending on the way he loses, could still make it. it to, could still make it to WrestleMania. It all depends on the way he loses. Now, if he just if he just loses outright and there's like no close calls, no like. I was just like one second away, one split second away from going for it. Then like, yeah, it, it's dead in the water. There's, there's nothing there for it. But like, if he gets a chance to 
like really get so close to taking out Daniel Bryan, I could see him pushing this to to go to WrestleMania. Because what happened with Drew Gulak uh, when he was kind of going back and forth between NXT, NXT UK, and 205 Live, uh, he basically was pulling the same kind of thing, except it wasn't like studying any one particular wrestler. He was learning. He was, he was learning new things. And when he did, he kind of went on a journey away from 205 Live to do so. So if they manage to tell this story across not just WWE's main roster, but also across NXT, potentially NXT UK, like they did the last time, where it's like, I want to face you again at WrestleMania. And he just goes on this like Shogun journey, taking out people and learning and amassing new skills. That that could be interesting. But if I don't trust, I don't trust WWE no more. I don't. And I don't trust that somebody has his best interests in, in mind. So I, I got to say Gulak has to win. Otherwise, what's the point? So it's okay. Gulak. All right. All right. We good? Yeah, we're good. We good, Troop? Yeah. Yeah. We good, KD? Yep. Last match of the night before we get to... And this is basically a foregone conclusion. Uh, yeah. It's good. Now... To say that this is a match that you can skip is a lie. I'm not saying that. Yeah. To say that this won't be a good match is a lie. I am not saying that. I'm saying, though, that this is basically a foregone conclusion as to who is going to come out on top. That's true. Because what else would you do? Why yeah. else would you have this if this is not going to be the way that it goes? Right. Then again, this is WWE. We thought that The Fiend beating Goldberg was, was a foregone a, conclusion. Yeah, and yeah, then we decided, yeah. you know what? I want to cry once yeah. more. <laughs> But we have the Women's Elimination Chamber match. We got Natalia versus Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler versus Asuka versus Ruby Riot versus Sarah Logan. Now, what I want from this is Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan to have a great showing because you need to continue building up your women outside of the basic ones that you already have. Yeah. Outside of your Oscars and Beth, Fe- uh, Beth Phoenix as well. Um, Becky Lynch's and Charlotte's and the like. Bailey's, you yeah. have to build them up beyond that so that they feel like they're on the same level with them. Yeah. And that's what I want out of Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan. They deserve that. They put in the work. They need that. That being said, we know who's going to get the win. So we might as well all say it. I'm just going to go down the line. Trooper, who you got? Shayna. I mean, obviously Katie. it's Asuka. Like... <laughs> Uh, Obviously, uh, like, come on now. She's she's a killer, all right? Yeah, she's nobody's ready for her. Leader. She was a champion, okay? She knocked out Becky. She knocked out Eli- uh, uh, Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Santa, though. It's Santa. It's 100% Santa. The, the, the way that he was, he was trying to, like, she knocked out Becky. She knocked out... Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm at a loss. But no, uh, yeah. Getting back to being serious, it's gonna be Shayna. It's definitely Shayna. Uh, Katie, who you got? Uh, as much as I want it to be Oscar, it's Shayna. Yeah, Daria. Shayna. Shayna. Again, th- that that is not to say that this match is going to be uh, one that you skip. Because you're going to see a lot of spots, a lot of big spots. Because Asuka versus Shayna, that's interesting because they never faced, I don't believe they ever faced each other in NXT. She no. left they did not. No, she left beforehand. They did not. No. Uh, and, you know, that, that's kind of a, that's kind of going to be a big one-on-one uh, situation right yeah. there. Um, yeah. We got Liv Morgan, uh, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. Those, Liv Morgan wasn't the, right. yeah, they were. They, yeah, that's the right squad. squad. Yeah. There you go. You got the. You got yeah, so many they're going to be too busy beating the hell out of each other. Yeah, and of course Natalia is Natalia. Yeah, uh, okay. and Natalia is going to be Natalia. Slap queen. It's, yeah, she's going to be. She's going to be slapping people and throwing cats at them. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That that is. Those are our picks for Elimination Chamber. This was a this was a quick show because we had six we had six uh, matches. Well, possibly seven. Uh, depending on where they put uh, Dan Bryan and Kulak on the match card, and depending on if they decide to try to add a SmackDown Women's Championship match before we get to WrestleMania, I don't think they will. But who knows? And uh, this is the last. This is the last pay per view before WrestleMania, and this is. It feels like they're limping into WrestleMania because there is no big. I must see this match at WrestleMania match like they did last year when it was Kofi Mania happening and a bunch of other uh, residual uh, storylines. 
There's but, no massive buildup. Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's no massive buildup. It's like everything is going to be like a foregone conclusion. It's just like, okay, so we know that this is going to be happening. There's no surprises right now. And that's a shame because I, I don't think that this card is going to be bad. I don't no. think that Mania's card is going to be bad. It's just going to be something that I'm not looking forward to. Yeah. No, on my own card, this looks like it's going to be great. Yeah. Any other promotion, this would be like, oh, okay, this is this is just great. But because we know what led to this, and because yeah. we know what's going to come out of this, I'm yeah. just kind of like, eh. And that's the big issue that we have. By but the way, can, I, so oh, I just oh, want to I just want to point out in that Alistair Black versus AJ Styles match, I feel like there's also ways because since Alistair Black is essentially like a, a face, but he's he's kind of like that dark face, whatever. If you have him kind of be like uh like what Darby Allen did, I don't know if, I don't know if people know that, but Darby Allen did in the uh Jericho match when he was practically by himself versus like five people. He yeah, literally yeah. just he took charge and just shoulder thrusted everybody. And it, people were cheering for it because they believed it. If Alistair Black starts doing that and doesn't just like, you know, out of nowhere just wins the match out of like a you know, a kick, and then everybody's down. If he just constantly yeah. just kind of, like, pushes and pushes and pushes, and I feel like that will get him over so much, and that won't just deflate his win. I feel like if you keep that alive and you kind of have that, like, uh, pushing mentality on him, I think Aleister Black can be a star. He really can. It's, oh, yeah. It's, it, the question is, is WWE going to let that happen? That's yeah, the they made thing. him look like a chump the other night. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the key difference. That's the thing. Yeah. 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 So, the, the other thing is, like, there is no stables in W. No, no, like, no stables that are that are people that you actually fear in no. WWE. Yeah. I mean, you're li- literally uh, your last one was the Shield. Yeah, yeah. AEW yeah. has the inner circle. AEW also has the new, uh, what, what do they call it? The triangle? The, the death, death triangle, triangle, which is, like, yeah. an awesome name. That I love that H is name. a thing in AEW. I wonder what the next one is going to be. The, uh, we have the probably, inner circle, uh, the death triangle. Tetrahedron. <laughs> tetrahedron. <laughs> I love the idea of like, okay. you know, multiple factions, multiple groups. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, happen. like, like, Sorry, a, we're like a unified here, effort. <laughs> Yo, oh, yeah, I got... mean, we're at the end right now. Nobody cares. Okay. We're done. We're done talking WWE. Let's, let's talk actual wrestling for a second. Yeah, no, Damn. I love like the idea of just like having factions and stuff like because like Dragon Gate and especially New Japan, that's their whole bread and butter is like, you know, factions. We we need more of that back. In I WWE. love factions like that's a thing like, you know, like you think about the old day, like the faces never really had good stables or factions or anything. No, no. especially in WWE or WWF. But like, I mean, like, you know, Horsemen, NWO, like, you know, groups like the Dangerous Alliance. God dang, yeah. I'm just rattling off a bunch of WCW ones. Dungeon of Doom. <laughs> I mean, like, like the Heenan family is the big one in WWF. I like the idea of that where you have like a rotating stable of like, you know, a set, like, you know, a central figure who can rotate in people or like, you know, kick people out as necessary. Literally the shield. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, like the, the the really sad part is they could have that with Seth Rollins right now because uh, he's just bringing in a bunch of random people into this. But the problem is, instead of trying to make it last much longer, once once there's going to be any sort of infighting, instead of going like, "Hey, dropping people out and bringing new people in," as you said, like a revolving cast, they're just going to just break it up and move on. Yeah, I mean, I thing. like the idea of Seth the Evangelist. Like, work off of that. Like, you know, instead of being a cult. <laughs> But yeah. like, you know, like you don't have to go the way the Wyatt family went with it being like a cult, but not really because you never added any other members. Oh, God. They f- oh, OK, so so we, we should act- we should actually just like restart our podcast, and just talk wrestling, period. Not just ah. for these pay-per-views. But before we get c- continue completely off, because like we could we could do this for the next hour. Yeah. And oh, just yeah. talk about that. Oh, yeah. But let, let me talk us out. Can I talk us out? Yeah. Or do you want to talk us no, out? No, go for it. OK, let me talk us out. OK, <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Let's get this. As always, you can catch our podcast on iTunes, link in the description below, or at the website at hillkaiju.com. There you can find our shows, articles, and our merchandise to keep the site up and running and to keep us providing you with quality content. Also, before we continue on, mm-hmm. this this weekend, we are going to be launching uh, the new uh, uh, line of shirts that we have, so keep an eye out on that. We're going to be posting tweets, putting it on Facebook, putting it on Instagram, and even putting it on YouTube. So if you want to look fresh and clean, repping the kaiju brand, we'll let you know. 
You can also join the Kaiju Wrecking Crew by following us on our Twitter account at Hill Kaiju. We'll provide any updates, developments, and insights. Thanks again for listening. Thank you again, KD, for joining us. Thank you again, Trooper, for joining us. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see y'all this this upcoming Sunday at Elimination Chamber. And remember to keep smashing.